before we go any further I thought we'd set up the database where we're going to just save and read information to and for that we're going to use PostgreSQL so first thing is if you can go and download and install that and pause the video if you need to right now it's installed I'm running version 13 at the moment which is sort of the latest version I think as I'm recording this so what I want to do I want to create a new database now you can do it from command line but the easiest thing is just to go into uh, your start menu find, find PostgreSQL and just run the PG admin because then what we can do we can actually just right click and we can just create a new database there it's very simple and what I'm going to call this is to so what I'm going to do I'm going to call it to do tasks app just to keep it in line with what we're doing and I'm going to leave the owners post grade um, if you want to create your own owner uh, do so but remember the owner name and password because obviously we're going to need that to be able to log into the database at a later date so let's create that and then the next thing we need to do is we need to run the query tool because I want to put in some SQL queries because we're going to actually create the tables so the first one we're going to do is we're going to create the task table just run that next we want to create the employees table these are the tables that we're going to record information in and I think they make perfect sense here because we can actually create a to-do app that you would say set people employees in this case to uh, to do tasks so let's run that one and then finally we want to create the assigned task and this is the link between the two so run that So all three have run successful and if we go into the schema for the database table and um, we look at the tables we can see those three tables there. Now there isn't any data in there at the moment, we could preload it with data, but we're gonna maybe we're gonna do that later on. We're gonna do it once we've got the API up and running, we're gonna feed information and read information from as tests. So now that's your database set up and we can move on to the next part, the actual code part.